Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table, still bedecked in its festive wares and not strewn with all my aircraft bits and pieces because um, I've been banned for the festive period, obviously. Um, but I thought I would do a quick video today because I've been asked the same question a number of times over the past few days, I suspect from people who've received one of these bad boys under their Christmas tree. Um, so I thought I'd just discuss it. Now, for those of you who haven't watched uh, the kitchen table videos before, because we are actually working on our kitchen table, it means that we have to have a beverage when we're discussing our quadcopters. And uh, today is no exception. It's a very nice uh, Nero Davola variety from Sicily, Palazzo del Mare. Very nice indeed. So, um, cheers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, yes, I've dragged my... Um, Vision Plus out to the kitchen table because I've received lots of emails uh, from people and comments and uh, PMs on the website and all sorts of stuff uh, relating to uh, problems people are having getting a stable Wi-Fi connection between the aircraft and their phone or tablet or whatever device they're using. Um, in most of the cases so far, it's been a fairly simple fix. Uh, so hopefully this will help you if you're in the same boat. Now, I only use Android. Um, I don't have an iOS device, so I'm not sure of the, the, the process on iOS, but it will be, there'll be some sort of similar, similar concept, I'm sure. So have a look at it. But basically in Android, there is a, a setting that you can change because by default, most Android phones will throw out a Wi-Fi connection that doesn't have the internet uh, available on the end of it. And they'll go and find, seek out another one because obviously that saves you uh, against your calling plan and so on and so forth. No good if you're going to try and connect to your Vision Plus to get the preview down on your phone because, of course, there is no internet and you need it to stick with it. Now, luckily, there is a simple uh, switch you can change in the settings. Now, they're going to look different depending on which phone you've got and which skin of Android. Um, but I'll show you mine, which is a bog standard Nexus. Uh, phone which has the plain um, vanilla Android on it and if you go into your Wi-Fi settings and uh, have a look at the options under there you'll see a tab called advanced if you click that you get this screen on your phone and you see there's a box down there that is unticked on mine but which was ticked by default which basically is the one that you want to uh, to, to be removing because it will uh, Tell, tell the phone if it can't find the internet at the end of that connection to drop it. So you want to make sure that on, uh, on your version it might be a tick to say do this. On mine it was an untick to take it off. But basically you want your phone to ignore whether the internet is at the end of the Wi-Fi connection or not and stay linked to it. And in, in 75 to 80% of the circumstances that should get you a stable connection and you can take it from there. And that was it, short and sweet. Um, I hope that's helped some of you. Um, uh, people keep see, kind of seem to be searching out and, uh, and, and I've been asked a lot. So um, hopefully that's helped some. Um, over the next, coming up over the next week or so, I've got some uh, news to bring you. Uh, I've got some product reviews uh, from stuff that I've been sent by people. Uh, again, as is the way here with no strings attached, you send it in and I'll tell people what I think about it. Um, so we've got some stuff to look at that and, and a few other bits and pieces. So I hope you had a very good Christmas. Mine was interesting. Uh, those who are supporting the channel as channel patrons via patreon.com um, have had the gory details. I'll spare the rest of you. Um, but I hope yours was good and, uh, and I hope, uh, hope 2015 is uh, very good for all of you too. So till we see you again from the kitchen table, cheers. <laughs>